So let's talk about the rate of the chemical reaction. How fast the chemical reactions are reacting? Here is the index. I'm going to talk about the rate of the chemical reaction and units of rate of your reaction. So rate of the chemical reaction is the area I'm going to discuss in depth. Let's move on. And also I'm going to talk about the units of chemical reaction. What are the units in a chemical reaction involved to get the product? So GTEC provides you a small experiment on sodium chloride with the silver nitrate. So here is a typical experiment of a sodium chloride mixed with silver nitrate. You are able to see it. It started creating a snowy flake kind of stuff and slowly it's starting dissipating to give up a clear solution. You are able to see it slowly dissipating. I am trying to mix up more sodium chloride. You are able to see the whitish snow is subsiding. You are able to see it here. After few seconds, you are able to see the clear solution. So let's move on. Some reactions such as ionic reactions occurs really fast. For example, precipitation of a silver chloride occurs instantaneously by mixing of aqueous solution of silver nitrate and sodium chloride. On the other hand, some reactions are really slow. For example, rusting of iron in the process of iron and iron moisture. Also, there are reactions like inversion of cane sugar and hydrolysis of starch, which proceed with a moderate speed. Can you think any other example for this category? So here is the hydrolysis process. You are able to see there is a hydrogen bond and there is a phosphorylation happening. This is referred to as hydrolysis. You must be knowing that the speed of the automobile is expressed in terms of change in the position or the distance covered by it in a certain period of time. Similarly, the speed of a reaction or the rate of the reaction can be defined as the change in concentration of the reactants or products in a unit time. So I am trying to put a chart in a 3D of how the reactants started mingling to create the product. You are able to see the reactant will start decreasing and the product start increasing. At one stage it become equilibrium, both are becoming constant. This is how a equilibrium reaction will be. To be more specific, it can be expressed in terms of the rate of a decrease in concentration of any one of the reactants. The rate of increase in concentration of any one of the products. Consider a hypothetical reaction assuming that the volume of the system remains constant. Reactance is giving the product. One mole of the reactant produces one mole of the product. If R1 and P1 are the concentration of R and P respectively at time T1 and R2 and P2 are the concentration at time T2, then delta T is equal to T2 minus T1. Delta R is equal to R2 minus R1 and delta P is equal to P2 minus P1. So the square parameter indicates in the above equation is used to express the molar concentrations. The rate of disappearance of R or reactant is given by decrease in concentration of R divided by time taken which indicates minus delta R divided by delta T. So the rate of appearance of product, this is disappearance, so it's in minus. 
This is appearance, this in plus. Increase in concentration of product divided by time taken. Delta P divided by delta T. Delta R is negative, indicating it's reducing. It's positive, it's indicated by it's producing. So, these two equations represent the average rate of the reaction or average. So, average rate of the reaction depends upon the change in concentration of the reactants or products and the time taken for that change to occur.